Hello, today is on quantum perspective, quantum perspective, but first, you know the score. Please allow my brief prelude, which I have now recorded for our mutual luxury and convenience, and it goes like this. Hello there, my name is Robert Francis. You've stumbled on my unconquering schizophrenia YouTube channel, where me and the bird, that's right, that's right, we talk schizophrenia. This is the cut of my jib right here for reasons of my medical confidentiality. I'm a licensed clinical social worker times 15 years. That's a lot of gabbing and chatting. Sure. I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia for a score five and one. Also true. And that puts a little gray fleck in my beard. Also true. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Now to topic, to topic, to topic. <laughs> Poetic. Poetic. Kind of. Uh, quantum perspective, quantum psychology is the idea of what the vibe that you set out will return to you oftentimes. Put another way, that which we seek, we will often find. And how that pertains to schizophrenia is this. If you think, uh, I'm going to be paranoid, I'm going to be paranoid, I'm going to be paranoid, and you walk into a social context with that thought content going on, you're going to find evidence that supports your paranoia, and it's going to make it worse. However, conversely, if you go into a social situation and you aren't paranoid and you're thinking, well, this is going to be fun, and you go in there with a mindset of enjoying yourself and having fun, oftentimes as well, you will find the evidence to support that as well. So oftentimes the vibe that we put out is the vibe that returns to us. So if you're paranoid, you're going to find evidence to support the paranoia. Conversely, if you're feeling well, you're going to find evidence in the social realm that comes back to you that's going to also support you feeling well. So that which we put out sometimes comes back. And that's a, a quantum perspective from psychology. So please remember that. It's very, very important. If you go into a situation thinking the worst you're going to find that evidence. However, if you go into a situation with a more positive mindset, the evidence too will follow based on that mindset. So oftentimes the feedback that we get is exactly based on the thoughts that we go into it with. It's the power of intention, the power of intention. A little quantum psychology, that's all. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you the next time. I'm about to melt into a puddle. It's so hot. Okay. See you next time.